Today, the Terre Haute NAACP remembered the life of George Ward, a black man who was jailed, lynched, and burned near the Wabash River in Terre Haute in the early 1900s. And now, only 100 feet from where that incident took place, a new historical marker will stand. Desherian McBroom attended the unveiling this afternoon. He explains how Ward's family and those in the community will make sure his name is never forgotten. Desherian. Terre Haute NAACP President Sylvester Edwards says today is not only about honoring, but about giving George Ward's family a sense of peace. At the north end of Fairbanks Park, a historical marker was dedicated to George Ward and his family. Ward was a Terre Haute native who was lynched on February 26, 1901, after he was accused of murdering a white woman the day before. Now between the jail where he was held and the bridge where his life was taken, a historical marker will stand to remember his life. We discovered that this happened to our grandfather in 1901. We never knew about it. Our family didn't talk about it. It was something that was hidden from us for years. And uh, when we found out about it, we, we, we just wanted to make sure that the family and everyone in the community knew what, what happened to our grandfather. Terre Haute NAACP President Sylvester Edwards says he was shocked yet excited by the overwhelming support from the community. We did not expect all of this, but the community came together in solidarity. It's about healing, it's about closure, Preparation of some of the things that happened to the Ward's family 120 years ago. Hundreds gathered in attendance to hear from local leaders and Ward's family about facing injustice in the community. Edwards says this day is about healing and closure. This is only the tip of the iceberg. The uh, Greater Terre Haute branch of NAACP Facing Injustice Project has not stopped. It will continue. And we're going to make sure there's uh, common causes, things that have to be taken care of, that we can come together as a community and solve these problems. The Ward family hopes the community and the nation learns from this day as they work to move forward. Hope the impact has has impacted the community, not just the family, because this impacted the, uh, the whole community in Terre Haute at the time that this happened. I hope today sends a message to the whole country that this shouldn't happen to anybody of color, any race, creed, or color. NAACP leaders say it is important for people to understand the past in order to build a better future.